Hey guys, I'm Corey, this makes shape crate, and today we're doing unboxing and review of the new Tila and Trap Jaw from the cartoon collection Master of the Universe Origins line. Going right from how these look in packaging, this Tila looks amazing. I think this might be my favorite head sculpt to date. Of course, we have the brand new card back with the Castle Grayskull in the back. Uh, cartoon collections down here. We can see on the back, Stratos and Merman are coming in the next wave. Of course, this has already been leaked online and that's fine. Artwork on the top, which is always amazing. Pawns of the Game Master is the episode that this training robot is from. I will, I've said it in everyone and I'll say it again. I still think that they should have some kind of QR code or link to where you can watch this episode. You can find it online for free, but put these up on Mattel Creations and like link it so that you can see it. Um, again, Trap Jaw looks great. I don't know if I love him, but uh, again, uh, this is from Double Edged Sword. He's got a uh, crystal stone, which I think is a kind of a silly inclusion personally but I will withhold judgment until we open these up. So, uh, mine is a little broken on the bottom, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and get these open and go from there. Our new trap jaw out of the packaging. He looks very good. I am not, uh, this is not my favorite head sculpt, but it looks just like the animation. So, when it comes to that, I'm glad they did it this way. The arm, on the other hand, uh, and I'm glad this comes out like that because I have yet to see anyone else do it that way because in the animated series, it plugged in like that. So I was going off like the only other review I've seen is a uh, Cobb collector, Cobweb collector, who uh, did a great review of both of these. And when you saw it, uh, I did not see him remove that. I did not like the fact that it looked like it couldn't be removed. Now that I get this in hand and I see that it can be, you know what? Mattel, you did a great job. Uh, I am glad you did it that way. So now you can display it either way so that you have the extra attachment or not. Uh, like he, like we said, you have the one thing because he does not come with the claw. He only comes with the uh, hook and the machine gun. So, he does stand taller than the others. I'm happy with him. He is a good figure. I am glad this was the one thing I was concerned about. And I am glad that if you want, you can just display it like that, which is very much how he was in the AMA series. And with that said, we have Artila. This, again, is probably my favorite head sculpt for Tila to date. It is beautiful. Uh, some of the others have just looked bland and generic or whatever. This one is gorgeous and I love it. Uh, again, she has uh, the new arms, the new buck. It looks like she has the exact same boots we have gotten before, which I totally understand. That is, uh, they got you know, save money however they can. Now, if you saw Cobb's uh, video, it looks like, and it feels like we can remove this armor piece. And you know what? I'm gonna do this right here on video and see if we can. It looks, it feels like, oh, 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 we totally can. And then we just have a bare buck. Uh, she is not naked. She does have white painted there, but this right here, I will tell you, is a game changer because as someone who primarily does customs, this is a plain buck. I can now make this into She-Ra or Catra or Eva Lynn or whoever I want to make it into. And it is totally plain. If you have seen any of my female customs, you know there are many times where I've had to sand off all the uh, uh, 
tooling that is on the chest and the, the torso. And with this just being a regular armor piece like it would be for the guys, that alleviates that. And I am so, so happy about that to the point where I've already got a couple more on order of these. Uh, I did get this one early. I am uh, very thankful for that. But I have a couple more ordered through Big Bad Toy Store. And once I get them in, uh, you will be seeing some customs happen. I promise you that. But while I still have this head off, let's uh, see if we can swap this over to some of the others. Okay, so I've put this head on the 2000X body. And I will say, this right here is probably my favorite combination of the two. The head and the torso, like the body, like the skin tones match almost perfectly. And I love this. I love this so much that when I do get extras of this to customize, I will be in an extra of this to uh, display that way. I'm very happy about that. Okay, that being said, Tila comes with her filmation sword, we saw in multiple episodes. This is very gummy. It's not uh, like the same plastic they use on some of the other swords. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, the shield is very shiny, but it is cool. I uh, shouldn't hold it very well. Uh, it is what it is, but I am glad about the sword. I wish it was a little more of a harder plastic but that's okay. Uh, she also comes with, let's get her standing, hold on. She also comes with this training robot. Now, the training robot is articulated. The arms go up and down, uh, but if I remember correctly in this episode, this thing like hovers and flies and you would think it would come with like some kind of stand or something like that to kind of pose it with. Otherwise, it's just kind of sitting. And that's unimpressive. <laughs> I wish it came with some kind of stand, but I think that would take this into like a deluxe figure realm. And so I do understand why they didn't, but if you're a pick a figure that flies, kind of like you did with the Orco, you need something to make it look like it's flying. And this does not do that. Other than that, I'm very happy with what we got with Tila. Uh, we got more accessories with her than we do with Trap Jaw. But uh, those couple gripes are all I got. All right, so first to compare these, we're going to go with Tila. So Tila has had a lot of changes made. Uh, you have the first one that has the fin legs that nobody liked. They changed that, re-released her. And uh, you saw a lot of that with the Green Goddess, where you got the new knees. Because the other than that, is the exact same thing. Uh, we had the 2000X one, which also has the new knees, but also has a new head sculpt and a new sword. Same thing came out not too long later with Snake Tila, but only we got a new torso, new boots. Other than that, it's the exact same figure, just repainted. Now we have the new Tila, which again has the same boots as the original ones, but everything else is different. And, well, the legs are the same. Uh, other than that, like, they have continuously upgraded her. And they've done a really good job. Uh, every single upgrade they've made, I think, has been great. I wish we would get a uh, 2000 next Tila with the 2000 X torso. But that's okay, because I'm going to make that custom anyway. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, let's check out Trapjaw. All right, next we're going to go to Trapjaw. And Trapjaw has not gotten a lot of iteration. Like, they kind of knocked it out of the park with the first one. And I've heard that some people don't like that he doesn't have eyebrows. I love this face sculpt, and I love this paint deco. I It's great on the second one. Like, they did such a great job. And I think that's why I don't like this one as much, even though it's indicative of the animated series. This one's just so good. 
like it just is uh it's not fair to say that they reiterated with this one because this is a different version like this one has different legs uh it has the standard legs standard torso standard arm standard buck like the only thing that makes this not like this or makes this like this is the head and the one arm that's it uh the belt too but again like it's so vastly different uh at first when i saw this hinge i thought they were using the same one until i actually looked because again like i said previously he did not have a hinge in the animated series i do understand why they do it now it's an additional feature that being said i'm glad they did it that way and with that this is the whole animated collection that we've gotten so far by far i think tila's the best one uh, man arms might be a close second uh the only reason that like beast man doesn't take it is because the color's off he man the head sculpts off skeletor again the colors are off but that tila oh so good uh hopefully you guys like this hopefully this gave you uh determination whether you're gonna buy any of these or not uh you can check our other reviews right over there uh youtube's gonna suggest something for you down there i think you'll like it if you did this uh and i'll see you in the next video see you guys